Hey everybody, Mark from Ripple Training. Apple's just released Final Cut Pro 10.4.7 and it includes a really great new color correction feature added to the masking tool. So let's check it out. Previously, if you wanted to isolate a color range with a color mask for performing a secondary correction, after sampling a color, you could add to the selection or subtract with the eyedropper, and you could smooth the selection with this slider. But that's it. The selection was basically a blob in 3D color space, which you could expand or contract and soften, but you couldn't change the shape of the blob by selecting specific hues, saturation, or luminance ranges. If you wanted to include more luminance values, for example, you were forced to include additional hues and saturation as well. To target specific ranges of hue, saturation, or luminance, you would need to use the hue sat curves correction to target each individually. But now you have the option in the color mask of switching from the default 3D type to the HSL type, which can be much more powerful. Doing so reveals separate range controls for hue, saturation, and luminance. After making an initial selection, click View Masks to see that selection. If you click the downward facing arrow next to View Masks, you can now choose between a black and white matte view, which we've had before, or a new color view. Let's select that. I can now refine my color mask selection by adjusting the range of hues, saturation, and luminance that are included. Before doing so, I like to toggle each off and on to see how they are contributing to the selection. In this case, limiting saturation doesn't improve our selection, so I'll disable it for now. Then I'll adjust the width and the position of the hue selection to improve the mask. And I can adjust the feathering or roll off of the selection by dragging here. Then I'll adjust the position and range of the luminance selection to include all the skin tones. Doing so adds some of the shirt to our selection. So I'll add a shape mask and resize and reshape it and adjust the feathering. I'll add another one for his hand. Of course, you need to animate these masks with keyframes to follow any movement. I'll click here to hide the shape mask on screen controls. I'd like to remove his eyes and hair from the selection as much as possible, so I'll re enable the saturation control and adjust it to deselect the eyes and reduce the hair selection. Now that I have a good selection, I can click View Masks to see the full shot, and I can use the correction tools to grade just the selected skin tones in this case. First, I'll click the top of the inspector to get a full height view. I'll adjust the hue using the vector scope as a guide, and then tweak brightness and saturation. This HSL color mask is available for all four of the correction types and is a great alternative workflow to using hue sat curves to make targeted corrections. We'll be updating our advanced color correction in Final Cut Pro 10.4 tutorial to include more information on how you can take advantage of this really welcome new feature. Subscribe below, click the bell to get notified, and thanks for watching.